everyone welcome to my channel. Some well-known classic cocktails such as mojito and margarita have been around for ages. And they are usually the typical go-to for most cocktail lovers. Even if you have never tried them, their names probably ring a bell the moment that you heard them. In this video, let's get back to the basics, talk about these essential spirits, as well as 12 classic cocktail recipes that everyone will definitely recognize. Most of them require three ingredients only, and the mixing process takes less than five minutes. This video is a bit longer, but I guarantee that every second of this information will be helpful for anyone who wants to get into the world of cocktails. If you like the video, please don't forget to click like or subscribe to our channel to show your support. Oh well, let's get started. The six essential spirits are the foundation of most cocktails. Stocking a good selection of these will be able to provide you the most variety of mixing anytime. Of course, your home bar setting should be customized to stock up the kinds that you enjoy the most. Each spirit has its own signature recipe collection. A classic cocktail is timeless. Whether it's a traditional old-fashioned or a popular martini, it will never go wrong. Here, I have put together a selection of 12 classic cocktail recipes, and that's two for each essential spirit. I'm sure you'll find a lot of the names familiar. Well, before we get into the mixing, let's take a quick look overview at the profiles. Rum is a liquor that is mainly made of sugarcane molasses or pure sugarcane juice. It is commonly produced in the Caribbean areas or American countries. It tastes a bit sweet and dry, but slightly vary depend on the different types. Light rum is more often used for cocktail mixing, while golden or darker rum is commonly consumed straight as shots or on the rocks. The Bacardi 151 has been discontinued in 2016, but I found this Donkey 151 High Proof Rum to be a very good substitution if you are interested in making some flaming shots. Today, we are going to make the signature mojito and daiquiri. The refreshing mojito mainly consists of mint leaves, lime, sugar, white rum, and soda water. Its sweet and citrus flavor makes it a super popular summer drink. In a highball glass, add 4 lime wedges. Add about 7 to 8 mint leaves. Gently muddle for the fresh flavor. Add 2 teaspoons of sugar. Fill out about 70% of the glass with ice. Add 2 oz of white rum. Squeeze about 0.75 oz to 1 oz of lime juice, that is about half of the lime. Mix and stir. Fill out the rest of the glass with ice. Top with soda water. Gently mix and stir again. Decorate with mint sprig and lime wedges. There are different versions or flavors of daiquiri, but the classic recipe ingredients are basically rum, lime juice, and simple syrup or other sweetener. With a martini glass, chill the glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, add 3 oz of white rum.
squeeze in about 1.5 ounce of lime juice. That is almost one lime. Add 0.75 ounce of simple syrup. Add ice. Shake to mix well. Pour the mixed liquid into the chilled martini glass. Decorate with lime wheel. Vodka is a clear distilled spirit that is composed of water and ethanol in general. Its alcohol by volume is usually about 40 to 55 percent, but it can go up as high as up to 96 percent. Isn't that crazy? Russia and Poland are the most well-known vodka production regions, yet it's also produced all around the world. As for its taste, hmm. It's quite odorless and tasteless, just like the ethanol itself, except for the different kinds of the flavor vodkas. Vodka is an important base liquor for many cocktails. In this video, let's take a look at the classic cosmopolitan and the summer drink Sex on the Beach. Sex on the Beach is a classic cocktail made of vodka, peach schnapps, orange juice, and cranberry juice. It is usually served in a hurricane glass and is perfect for sipping next to the pool in the summer breeze. In a hurricane glass or a glass you prefer, fill the glass with ice. Add 1.5 ounce of vodka. Add 1 ounce of peach schnapps. Add 1.5 ounce of cranberry juice. Add 1.5 ounce of orange juice. Mix and stir. Garnish with maraschino cherry and orange wedge. The signature Cosmo has a nice pink color, with a great tasting profile of sweet, sour, and juicy. This variety of flavor comes from its key ingredients, vodka, triple sec or Cointreau, cranberry juice, and lime juice. With a martini glass, chill the glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, add 2 ounces of vodka. Add 1 ounce of triple sec or control. Add 1 ounce of cranberry juice. Add 0.5 ounce of lime juice. Add ice. Shake to mix well. Pour the mixed liquid into the chill martini glass. What a pretty pink color. Garnish with lime wheel.
Tequila is a sweet and earthy taste of base liquor that is primarily being produced in Mexico. It is made from a plant called blue agave, which is native in Jalisco, Mexico. The styles of tequila could be confusing. Blanco, or silver tequila, is the unaged, freshly distilled 100% blue agave type. Other types, such as reposado, añejo, are typically aged in barrels and has a darker color. Tequila goes perfect with lime and salt because they lessen the burn of the tequila taste. In fact, Blanco is the best candidate for a good margarita, and it is definitely your top choice for a one tequila home bar. Margarita is definitely one of the most signature tequila made cocktail. The classic recipe consists of tequila, Cointreau, lime juice, and margarita salt on the rim. With a margarita glass or coupe glass, rub the rim of the glass with a lime slice. Gently dip the rim into the salt to make the salt stick to it. In the shaker, add 3 oz of tequila. Add 1.5 oz of Cointreau. Add 1.5 oz of lime juice. Add ice. Shake to mix well. Pour the mixed liquid into the glass. Be careful not to mess up the salt rim. Garnish with a lime wheel. Tequila Sunrise was also on the list of the super easy cocktails from previous video. It is indeed another signature tequila cocktail that most people are aware of. The key ingredients of the drink are tequila, orange juice, and grenadine syrup. In a highball glass or glass you preferred, fill the glass with ice. Add 1 ounce of tequila. Top with orange juice, about 2 oz or twice as much as the tequila. Mix and stir. With about 0.5 oz of granitine syrup, slowly add the syrup along the edge of the glass to create the sunrise look. a very gentle mix to help with the color transition. Decorate with maraschino cherry and orange wedge. Gin is distilled from a range of herbal ingredients. It has a botanical, dry, and herbal taste, and its predominant flavor derives from the juniper berries. Gin is produced all around the world with different varieties. London Dry Gin is the most traditional quality gin. Plymouth Gin is lighter with a more citrus flavor, and Old Tom Gin tends to be sweeter. While the easiest way to enjoy gin is simply with tonic water, 
but classic gin-based cocktails such as the dry martini and Negroni are perfect for any occasion and satisfy every sip. As one of the most well-known cocktails, a dry martini is simply made with either London gin or Plymouth gin and vermouth, along with either olives or lemon twist as garnish. Dry refers to the amount of vermouth in the drink. Chill the martini glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, add 4 oz of gin. Add 1 oz or less of the dry vermouth. Add ice. Shake to mix well. Pour the mixed liquid into the martini glass. Garnish with olives. Olives soak up the gin and vermouth. Eat one with the first sip and swallow the last olive at the end. Negroni is an Italian cocktail with equal parts of gin, campari, and sweet vermouth, with orange peel as garnish. A traditionally made Negroni is stirred instead of shaken to mix the ingredients. In the shaker, add two large ice cubes. Add one ounce of gin. Add one ounce of campari. Add 1 ounce of sweet vermouth. Stir the ingredients until it gets cold, about 20 to 30 seconds. In a rocks glass, add a large ice cube. Strain the drink into the glass. Twist the orange peel over the drink to release the oils and express the notes of citrus aroma. Drop the orange peel into the drink for garnish afterwards. Whiskey is distilled from fermented grains and is typically aged in wooden casks. It has a smoky, malty, and roasted taste with levels of complexity. Whiskey is mainly distinguished by places of origin, types of grain, blending or aging process. Scotch, bourbon, and rye are probably some of the most well-known and popular kinds. Whiskey is often being consumed on the rocks especially in social occasions, to chill the liquid and open up the taste. However, drinking whiskey neat with a snifter glass will also allow you to experience the complexity of whiskey flavor and get the most out of it. Many classic cocktails are also whiskey-based, such as Old Fashioned, Manhattan, Whiskey Sour, and Rusty Nail. As one of the finest and most signature cocktails, Manhattan is made with mixing whiskey, which is usually bourbon or rye, sweet vermouth, and dashes of Angostura bitter. Chill the martini glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, Add 2 large ice cubes. Add 3 oz of bourbon.
add 1.5 oz of sweet vermouth. Add 2 dashes of Angostura bitter. Mix and stir to get a silky texture. Do not shake. Pour the liquid into the chilled martini glass. Decorate with maraschino cherry. Just like the Manhattan, Old Fashioned is another classic whiskey cocktail, and bourbon lovers will never get tired of it. It is actually quite simple with just three ingredients, sugar, Angostura bitter, and bourbon, and with an orange twist garnish as the great addition to the drink. In a rocks glass, add one sugar cube, add two dashes of Angostura bitter, add two dashes of water, Gently model to mix. Add a large ice cube into the glass. Pour 2 oz of bourbon into the glass. Mix and stir. Twist the orange peel over the drink to release the oils and express the notes of citrus aroma. Afterwards, drop the orange peel into the drink for garnish. Brandy is a type of liquor produced by distilling wine, so its key ingredients are grapes or other fruits. Therefore, it has a sweet, fruity, and fresh taste. Aging in barrels is required for brandy, for usually a minimum of years. The barrels will smoothen the drink and create additional layers of complexity. The most well-known kinds are cognac and armagnac from southwestern France. High-end brandy is typically consumed neat in a stifter glass, just as whiskey. It is probably less commonly used or stocked in the home bar compared to the other spirits, yet stocking a good choice of brandy will take you to the next level of classic cocktail exploration. The Sidecar is a classic brandy-based sour cocktail that is made with cognac, orange liqueur, and lemon juice. The drink was named after a motorcycle sidecar during the World War I. In a cube glass, chill the glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, add 3 oz of cognac, add 2 oz of Cointreau, squeeze 1.5 oz of lemon juice, or about half of the lemon. Shake to mix well.
strain the liquid into the chilled coupe glass. Garnish with a lemon wedge. The sweet, creamy, and boozy Brandy Alexander is made of cognac, creme de cacao or Baileys, and cream. It's a dessert in the glass, and the drink goes perfect with chocolate, especially on a cozy Saturday night. In a coupe glass, chill the glass by filling the glass with ice and stir. In the shaker, add 2 oz of cognac. Add 2 oz of creme de cacao or Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. Add 1.5 oz of cream. Add ice. Shake vigorously to mix well. Strain into the chilled coop glass. Garnish with nutmeg or rose petals. Thank you everyone for watching! I hope this video is helpful as an intro to cocktails. The classic cocktails represent the evolution of this culture. And you've got to try at least one in your life. Enjoy your drinks!